What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming along. Uh, today we're going to be doing a product review on the Benjamin Prowler Nitro Piston 22 caliber brake barrel rifle. Uh, I purchased this off of eBay from the Crossman store on eBay uh, as a refurbished unit. Um, so I got it super cheap. It was $69 regularly. It's $125. You find it for about $125 to $150. If you can find it refurbished, you know, get it for half price. Why not? Um, it was extra. I think it was about $65. Um, free shipping. I've Bought, I've purchased uh, refurbished guns from Crossman before. Uh, never had no issue. Uh, Benjamin uh, was absorbed by Crossman, so Crossman now owns, distributes, and manufactures uh, the Benjamin line. Um, so no issues with uh, quality, manufacturing defects, anything like that. Uh, I do have here uh, the Crossman uh, F4 Fire that I purchased, remanufactured uh, for $35 from the same store. Uh, and this gun is awesome, works flawlessly. Um, love it. Uh, so I had no hesitation uh, when I saw this, uh, the Prowler, the Benjamin Prowler. Uh, I know it's going to be a good product. And if it's not, um, Crossman customer service uh, is top notch. They're great. So let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, like I said, you can find them for about 125 to 150 bucks new. Uh, save yourself the money. Buy it refurbished. Um, half price, you know, $69 uh, around that area. This is the box that will come in whenever you purchase something refurbished from Crossman. It's going to come in a standard generic box. And they'll just slap a sticker on there with just some of the information on there. As you can see, 22 caliber, uh, 950 feet per second. That is with alloy pellets. You're probably going to be shooting lead. So you're looking closer to around the uh, 800 mark depending on weight. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll get this bad boy broke open here. Uh, it is a combo. It does come with a, a scope, a center point scope. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then also, when you purchase a refurbished, you're kind of you're just going to get a um, a printout, a copy um, of the owner's manual. You won't get the original one, uh, but that's fine. Uh, this remanufactured product has a 30-day warranty. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Get the scope. So uh, as you can see, again, uh, manufa remanufactured, uh, refurbished. As you can tell by looking at it, it looks similar to the rifle that I just showed you. Uh, all black, synthetic stock, um, nice nice quality uh, rubber butt pad. show you that. This is all rubber uh, with the Benjamin logo there. Just got a warning there. Uh, no iron sights. It's a brake barrel, and it's a, a nitro piston. There it is, Mark 22 caliber. I know it's a little dark. Uh, and then it's kind of got this handle fluting uh, on the barrel. Uh, obviously, it's a rifle barrel. Uh, it's 45 inches long and weighs in at, I'm going to tell you here, uh, six and a half pounds, about 6.4 pounds to be exact. Um, so, nice looking gun. We'll get the scope mounted up and then uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, so stand by for that. All right, guys, so we got the scope mounted up. Uh, super simple. Uh, comes with instructions in case you don't know. Uh, it mounts to the 11 millimeter dovetail rail here. Um, you can tell the front from the back. It comes with the rings, Allen wrench, everything. Uh, there's a, a pivot that kind of comes down from here, and there's a hole in the receiver that that matches up to. Make sure it's in there so the, the scope's not moving back and forward. Uh, and then just tighten the screws. There's three screws here. Let me give you a better look here. Um, there's three Allen key screws here. Uh, just kind of tighten them up in a crisscross pattern uh, and tighten the, tighten the hell out of it. Uh, you know, you don't want this thing moving. I see a lot of people have issues with reviews on scopes. They say they're cheap. Uh, center point scopes, uh, maybe they're lower lower on the totem pole uh, as opposed to more expensive scopes, but I never had an issue with them because you have to mount them properly. Uh, and then when it's mounted, then go to your top here and you got four Allen's here. Uh, same thing, tighten them in a crisscross pattern uh, and tighten the piss out of them. And it comes with this, uh, these lens cover too. Um, so that's what it looks like. Pretty nice looking rifle. Uh, again, it is a nitro piston, uh, brake barrel, uh, 35 pounds of cocking, uh, of cocking weight, uh, force needed. Um, so it's, it's a little bit higher uh, than, I don't know, that the 177 is about 20. 325 uh, synthetic stock adjustable trigger uh, there's no iron sights on it we talked about that uh, and that's pretty much it there it's you can see Benjamin Prowler 
and nitro piston. Uh, I'll give you a look at the gun here. I'm just going to... Nice stock. Um, if you watch my last video here, I'm just going to kind of talk over this while I do this. It is a 4x32 center point scope, as you can see there. If you watch my last review on the Gamma Wildcat Whisper, uh, I did end up returning that uh, after after using it. I kind of, um, I didn't like it. Uh, it felt really cheap. Uh, it performed fine. It shot pellets fast and hard. No issues with that. Nothing broke on it. Uh, just the feel of it. Uh, it just felt super cheap compared um, compared to this. Uh, this is definitely higher quality synthetic plastic or polymer, whatever it is. You know, the rubber butt pad. Uh, I just feel like it's built way better. Uh, came with a better scope. Was half the price. Um, looks better. Um, quieter. The whisp <laughs> the Wildcat Whisper uh, is advertised as having this, you know, had a... Um, a silencer or a, a sound suppressor whatever on the end uh it did nothing it was one of the loudest guns that i ever shot maybe your mileage may vary but uh i didn't like it so i sent that back uh, and i'm really glad i did uh this rifle is awesome and it's awesome <laughs> it's awesome and um you know it's a good name uh benjamin uh, again absorbed by crossman uh in the 90s sometime i guess uh, but Crossman manufactures all their stuff now. Uh, it does have the push trigger safety, so as you can see now it's on safe. You would push it forward, uh, and that would take it off safe. So what we'll do is we'll take a couple shots here. I'll show you what it looks like shooting. Uh, we'll adjust. Uh, we'll have to do some adjustments on the scope, I'm sure. Uh, and then we'll do uh, a 10-shot group, and we'll see what that looks like. So stand by for that. Nice-looking rifle. Uh, this is going to be our ammo today. Make sure that's in frame, uh, if you can see that. Uh, Crossman Premier Hollow Point, 14.3 grains. Nice pellets. Um, so to break it down, uh, real easy, uh, I like to uh, brace it here with your uh, the top of your thigh. Snap it down. Always hold it, too, just in case uh, you know, you're messing around here, you don't want this thing to snap back. It'll clear your fingers, for sure. Uh, load that in there. Sorry, it's so dark over here. Um, and that's it. Uh, this is just the hold that I use. Uh, you kind of want to use an artillery hold uh, with these guns. You don't want to hold it like a, a normal rifle. Um, you know, just kind of brace the front, push it up against your, push it up against your shoulder, free the safety. Ooh, nice. It's got actually a decent little kick on it. Let's try that again. Um, for 35 pounds, um, it actually breaks pretty easy. I still feel like my hots in 95 and 22 and 25 um, are definitely harder than this, I would say. So for sure, we're going to have to adjust the scope. So take a couple more shots maybe, and then uh, we'll take care of that. It's like it's shooting high to the left. All right, guys, so this is going to be the target shot here. I got the scope. Um, it's hitting the target anyways. I, I could definitely probably sight it a little bit more, but we're going to do we're gonna do 10 shots uh, from where my basement. Again, it's cold outside, so we can't really do some outside shooting yet, uh, but I will do some testing with that. We're inside in my basement, about 30, 33 feet uh, from a seated resting position. Uh, I'll do 10 shots just to give you an idea of the grouping uh, that you can get.
All right, guys, so that's the Benjamin Prowler uh, target test. Again, that was only from uh, over a little over 30 feet, um, 10 shots, maybe 11 I did. I don't know. I lost count. Um, but it holds a tight group. You know, that's a quarter size. Um, that one got shot a little low. But other than that, you know, that's within an inch for sure. So uh, holds. As you can see, the scope holds. Uh, as long as you, uh, like I said, install it right, you know, make sure you tighten down uh, all the clamps good. Not sure what else to say about the gun. Uh, excellent value uh, for a 22 high power 22 rifle scope, uh, nitro pr piston. There's no springs or nothing like that. Um, sounds good, feels good. Easy to cock, easy to load. Uh, trigger, synthetic stock. You know, 6.4 pounds, pretty lightweight compared to um, you know like the Hotsons with the, the with the wood stocks like my 95s. You know, those come in at over 8 pounds, so if this is something you want to bring backpacking or in the woods, carry around, you know, you can do that without, you know, a lot of fatigue. Uh, and again, it is refurbished. Um, I'll show you my other this is from, that I got here from Crossman. Uh, this is the F4. I got a review on that. Looks like um, scope's a little bit different. Not much. Uh, but this was also purchased, remanufactured. As you can see, the butt stock's different. It's got the thumb hole, skeletonized stock. Um, but other than that, uh, as you can see, the ends uh, are the same. They got this kind of fluted barrel cover on there. It's not marketed as a suppressor or anything. It doesn't keep it quiet or doesn't do anything. I think it just gives you kind of something to grab onto. Uh, this is also nitro piston. And this is in 177 cal. Um, so, uh, excellent rifle. Put that on safe. Uh, both excellent rifles for cheap. Uh, like I said, I got this for $35 refurbished. And it drives tax uh, just like the Benjamin Prowler does. Uh, so super cheap. You know, for under 100 bucks, you can get two rifles, scopes um, that perform well, nitro pistons. Like I said, 70 for this and 30 35 for that. A little bit over 100 bucks. Maybe you can find a deal or something. I use my Discover Rewards. I had 20 30 bucks in rewards so I ended up paying only about $35 for this about $35 for both then so just something to think about um, you know the high-end gun guns are nice but um, you know these perform just as well remanufactured on the cheap if you guys have any questions about it uh, let me know if you want to see anything else once this snow breaks here we're gonna take both of these out uh, the Prowler and the F4 that I just showed you and put them through their paces uh, some long distance you know, 50, 70, 80, you know, yards out, give you some different groupings, maybe try some different pellets. Um, but this rifle is awesome. Glad I purchased it. Glad, super glad I sent back that Gammo. Again, nothing really, I guess, against Gammo. Um, I don't know what to say. It just didn't feel right. You know, I just felt super cheap. Uh, this uh, high quality, thick, you know, nice rubber butt pad. Real nice weapon. I like it a lot. 6.4 pounds lightweight too, because I'm probably going to bring this backpacking at some point out in the woods, do some shooting. Kind of has like that rubberized texture to it almost, and that's what I like, whereas the Gamo did not have that at all. It was just slick, thin, cheap plastic. Uh, Scope's got a nice picture on it too, obviously not like a, a mill dot reticle or not, and just crosshairs, but I dug it worked great I do have to adjust the trigger I uh, didn't I wanted to have a, a little bit more pull in the first stage I like a light pull for the first stage and kind of just a crisp break I mean who doesn't but I think uh, I can't think of anything else to tell you guys about the gun right now like I said if you have any questions let me know uh, don't forget about my giveaway that will be going on man actually this video might post after the giveaway so if you're watching this you probably missed out on the giveaway but uh no worries uh, i'm gonna start another one once somebody claims my current giveaway and uh, we'll figure something out i know i got uh, a couple lancer tactical um airsoft rifles i'm looking to get rid of so those might go up for grabs make sure you subscribe to my channel click the notifications icon and if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comment section and um you know, I'll, I'll answer best I can. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. This is the Benjamin Prowler 22 caliber brake barrel nitro piston air rifle.